You know, women say that men can't multitask. I'm here to prove that theory wrong. Piece of software called OmniRig, okay? Uh, it's on the Afreet website, uh, freetsoftware.inc, uh, dxatlas.com. I have been using this like forever, for at least 12 years. And uh, this is very, very handy software. What does it do, I hear you ask? Okay, basically it's offering you multi-threading, right? So you have multiple programs written by different authors, different languages, and all that good stuff. And they can all control the radio via OmniRig at the same time. Um, you need to think of it in this context, okay? You have the radio, OmniRig, and then you have all the software. So OmniRig is the boss as far as the radio is concerned. So it communicates with it and it only. And all the software is talking to OmniRig. So you can have multiple stuff open at the same time. Um, right, so you download the software. Uh, OmniRig is free. And uh, once you download it and install it, let's just get rid of this. You end up with this window here. So you um, populate all the fields that are relevant to you. Now, if you notice here, I'm on Comport 5, okay? In all my other videos, you hear me talking about Comport 4. So here, here, here's why that is uh, relevant. Um, the way I'm doing it with OmniRig is I'm running two cables. I'm running a USB cable, and I'm also running a USB to CIV cable. Got that from Technofix, uh, the seller Technofix on eBay. Very, very high quality cable. It comes with a CD that you load into your uh, computer, which opens up a second uh, USB to UART bridge. And if we just move this lad over here, we can see here. So COM port 4, that is the uh, USB cable going from the 7300 to the PC. And then this is COM port 5, which is the USB to uh, CIV cable going from the radio to the PC. So basically what that lets us do is programs that require the use of the uh, USB cable like CW type, uh, RSBA1, uh, DX Labs, Commander, any of those programs that require the cable for scope functions, you can just kind of leave that there and let it do, let it do its, uh, its own thing. Okay, so I'm going to open a bunch of stuff up. There's, um, what you call it, RSBA1 running away. Ooh, 40 looks to be lively enough this evening. Anyway, so RSBA1, that's running on uh, COM port 4 via the USB cable. So let's open up uh, that. Now... I just move I need to move everything about here now so you can see everything that's going on so um, if I let's see if I move the VFO you can see everything is tracking along there now the logger is connected via uh, COM port 5 out with Amirig and uh, let's go a step even further. So there's skimmer running. I have everything kind of made small so you can see. You can see everything is tracking along there at the same time. So basically what it lets you do is you can have as much software as you want to open that requires polling data from the radio, i.e. band, mode, frequency, whatever the case may be. And in this case here, now this is kind of the cool thing about the 7300 as well, is that um, while this here is set up for COM port 4, the frequency uh, on skimmer, it's actually sending the audio from the radio to the PC over the USB cable which is running the scope on here and it's running the RSBA1 as well. So 
you have all this multitasking going on which is very very handy so that's what OmniRig does it uh, lets us run all this stuff at the same time which is very very handy and uh, I think it's it's a, a nice little piece of software and it's uh, it's well written so if you're not using it you should be and uh, it's quite simple to set up on uh, for the icon there it comes with a list of uh, radios and there's an INI file make sure you have the right one when you download it the most up-to-date one because the older one doesn't have the 7300 on it and um, so you just basically go in and pick whatever radio you have and uh, your com port and your baud rate and uh, all this this is all standard for um, icom radios here all this uh, this stuff and this is the polling interval how quickly it it pings the radio for information and vice versa so that's at 100 milliseconds and then there's a timeout of 4000 milliseconds on it so if nothing happens or something fails to connect in that length of time it'll throw up an error so uh, that's OmniRig it's uh, oh yeah and set it to run on startup as well um, it's a very very small program it doesn't use anything you wouldn't even notice it was there to be quite honest with you and I've been using it for donkey's years at least 12 years or more I think um, I've had the PC connected uh, back then I used to have the uh, FT920 and I had it connected to logger 32 so all I had to enter into the logger 32 window all I had to enter in was the call sign and um, the, the name that was it uh, it done all the rest itself the mode the band the frequency it's just so handy when you get used to, to that kind of operation so there you go that's OmniRig I'm George EI7 Kilo Oscar very nice to have you along please comment and subscribe and all of that good stuff and we'll see you again very soon 7-3